I was born in a small town in Guerrero, Mexico. When I was two years old, my mom and dad decided we should move to the US to find a better life for me. I lived a pretty normal and happy life for much after that, until 2008, when the financial crisis hit and my dad lost his job. We lost our home. By 2011, our financial situation was so unstable, my parents thought it was best for my mom, my little sister, and me to move to Mexico, where the cost of living is lower while he stayed in the US to find work. Moving to Mexico was a very big change for me, but I was able to learn more about my beautiful culture, like the food, customs, the people. Unfortunately, I also had to learn the bad parts of my culture, like homophobia, transphobia, and machismo. After living in Mexico for two years, my dad had finally found financial stability and was able to help my sister, my mom, and I move to the US with him. The second I entered the US though, I was now given a set of struggles. Even though I would be considered a quote-unquote dreamer by most people, I wasn't. Dreamer is such an arbitrary term that was given to DACA-eligible and documented young people in the U.S. by politicians. They want to wrap us into pretty little packages that ignore our struggles, our mistakes, and our diversity. That two-year trip to Mexico made me become ineligible for DACA and I became just another undocumented immigrant. Being undocumented now became a big obstacle as I grew older. I can't receive federal aid, I can't legally be an employee, I can't travel out of the country, and every day I have to see people who don't know me argue about my right to stay in this country, my home. But even though I have to go through all these obstacles just to stay, I don't want to go. Here, I can be myself and be confident in my identity as a queer person, which is something I wouldn't be able to do back in Mexico. Here, I can go outside with this makeup look and be praised. Whereas in Mexico, if I went outside like this, there is a possibility I can be targeted or even murdered. In 2019, 117 LGBTQ plus individuals in Mexico were murdered. I do not want to become another number in that statistic. This is why I will continue to fight for my right to stay here, to be queer and to live in my true identity, because this isn't a mask. I urge you to support immigration reform and citizenship for all because everyone, regardless of their identity, deserves to have a home where they can feel free and safe.